Hello Galactic Family. It's a super full moon, high energy day that's bringing a lot of stuff into people and maybe into you, too. While it is alarming to see how negative people are now, this is also part of the process of releasing layers of density to allow light to manifest. And this release process can get a bit ugly. We cannot avoid the uncomfortable steps in the cycle of ascension, and this is one of them. We have a lot of universal support for this transition now, too. On an astrological level, there is a planet in every house, from Virgo to Pisces and with Uranus, the solitary rebel in Aries, the sign of the pioneer, the home of me, to me. However, we have Mars in Aquarius, the sign of Uranus, which is the house that represents the community, the groups and the collective. So this is bringing together the individual and the connective, supporting the idea of being one and one, the family of humanity. You may not be seeing many examples of this now, but you will see. We are entering the congruence of unity and nothing will prevent this from happening. What should we do? Shine our lights, that's all. You cannot find darkness in the dark, you have to find it at the point of your light. Each path eventually leads to the light and we can shine brightly now. And if you've had strange sleeping patterns, waking up for most of the night and around 3.00 a.m. lately, or is when you can finally sleep, you'll enjoy this week's article. Have you had nights with only a few hours of sleep lately? Do you wake up one or more times and cannot go back to sleep for hours? Or you cannot sleep some nights, no matter how tired you are? We are doing important energy work at night, through a process I call lighting the night, using the most open energy potential, when most people are asleep, bringing in a higher frequency and energy expanded and anchoring it in the Earth's net. This is an important job, no matter how uncomfortable it is for us now. We are points of light in the darkness and our energetic signature is more visible because it is not obstructed by the agitation of our day, by other people or activities. This means that it is easier for our energy to be at its highest point, so we become a magnet for this energy level. And because we are awake, we are receiving and anchoring energy at the same time. As small lights, we light up as we lie down so we can find our way in the darkness and we are also the source of light for the souls who are making the transition, those who need to find a light to guide them back to the home, well as a beacon of light for energy that needs a container to be anchored. We shine our lights in the darkest hours, when most people are asleep and act as gateways for energy transmissions when there is less energetic interference because most people are asleep. It can be boring and it will not last forever, but as a flashlight, you are serving a powerful purpose for the world, for humanity, and for light. At night, when most people around you are asleep, their conscious minds are turned off and they are more open to receiving energy. And without the distraction of all the active energy during the day, we can bring in higher transmissions, higher frequencies and process more energy. When this is necessary, we cannot sleep and stay up at night, sometimes all night. The days of sleep throughout the night will return, but our light is needed at night, and we are doing a powerful job now. Here are some suggestions to help you ease this process. Make an active breathing and breath work, where you are aware of each inhalation and exhalation, and while you are breathing, be aware that you are connecting with the source and with light. Conning your breaths will help you stay focused on the work you are doing and maintain a balanced connection. Be aware of energy levels, because you are in the receiving process. Put an intention to be at your highest frequency and receive the energy at the highest frequency you are capable of. When you receive the energy, expand it and send it to the world and to humanity, 
so that you anchored the energy in the Earth's net. Try not to worry about losing sleep or how much will be tired the next day. You can determine an intention to wake up invigorated and energized although it is not. If this is too much and too tiring, remind your guides that you need to sleep and keep the energy work smoother. Like many of you, I've had more sleepless nights in the last few months than I can remember. I miss the days when I could lie down and fall asleep immediately. Now, I'm lucky if I'm sleeping at 3.00 in the morning or if I fall asleep and wake up suddenly after 2 hours and stay awake for several hours. I know I'm doing a lot of energy work right now, and so do you. We are lanterns for the energy that is flowing in the Earth's nets now, so while you are awake at dawn, Remember that you are a container for the incoming energy, receiving it and anchoring it in the Earth's nets. So be a portal to light, bringing in the highest frequencies you can and know that you are doing the 5D integration work in 3D that you came here to do. And if this helps, think of yourself as a flashlight, a spark of light in the dark, illuminating the way to the new Earth.